Hello and welcome. Good morning, Mr. Gildo. Good morning, everybody. Um, today's um, is going to be a webinar regarding uh, the uh, new crypto um, product line, the ecosystem. Um, uh, that is the next evolution of the uh, atrium system, if you will, and uh, part of the uh, process of this new evolution, the crypto platform, if you will, is the capability to add system licenses for different features that will be activating with these licenses in the system as time goes on, uh, depending on the requests of uh, the clients. Uh, so this is our first um, uh, endeavor in this uh, licensing option, and the uh, the first one is uh, using floor plans, and it's uh, pretty straightforward to do. So, uh, just give you a quick heads up of what this is. Uh, just give me a moment here. Get my ducks in a row. Get my screen working properly. Here we go. And just to give you a quick overview here, a few slides. Okay, so it's part of the crypto, it's the next evolution of the uh, Atrium system. And these are, um, we're gonna be showing you how to uh, add a system license, in this case, the floor plan. This is our first option um, for these licenses that will be available to you. Um, they'll be available through distribution, so you get them through uh, your um, favorite distributor. And um, when you obtain, it's a, it's a card is what you'll be purchasing. It's an actual card that uh, has the license encoded on it. And that you'll read that card uh, on the system in question where you want to app apply that. And for each license, once the card is being read uh, and activated, the license has been activated, uh, that system is then tied to that particular uh, project, that system. In other words, there is a read-write process that will um, prevent from having multiple installs of the same license on multiple different installations. So it is a uh, one license per system uh, installation. Uh, and it's activated through the crypto reader. You could also enter the information manually, uh, which is a uh, long and tedious process, but it is possible. And of course, uh, this is with the crypto platform with the A22K and the K1 readers that we've uh, uh, introduced to the market uh, our, in our virtual ISC showcase a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so um, the idea at the end of the day with these licenses and the floor plan license in question today is to be able to visually uh, have a visual interface to the system and to be able to interact with the doors on your interface, on your floor plans. So we have a little uh, uh, capture here of a screen. Um, and this is done through the web interface. It's not done through the software at this point in time. Eventually we might activate it in the software also, but for today, um, if you purchase this license, it's for the web interface, the Atrium web interface. And uh, basically, you'll be seeing uh, here how to create the floor plan. You'll be able to import floor plans, uh, either a JPEG or a PNG file format uh, with a file uh, maximum file size of one megabyte. You will be able to import multiple floor plans if need be for your building, for your project. It's not limited to just one floor plan that you have on the system. So you can have multiple floor plans uh, imported for each floor plan that you input, or that yeah, you import, I should say. The maximum file size is um, one megabyte. And uh, let me see here. So you'll be able to view the real-time door status, uh, the icons, the padlock icons that we've become familiar with, a circle with the padlock. Uh, that's a uh, visual indicator of the status of the door. Is it an alarm? Is it left open? Uh, has it been unlocked? Is it unlocked on the schedule? That kind of stuff. So you'll visually see that right away. You can uh, click on the actual door icons, the padlock, to interact with that door, just like if you were, it's a manual operation to log in the system and to be able to unlock a door to uh, allow a visitor to come in. So grant access to unlock a door for a certain number of hours. If you prefer, when you're done, uh, you relock that door. So lock, unlock, grant access, uh, return to the normal status of your system and so on and so forth. So uh, it's very interactive. Uh, to set it up, it's very simple. Uh, 
you import the floor plan and on your floor plan toward the right hand side of the screen you'll see the doors that are in your particular system and you simply click and drag the floor plan icon uh the, the door icon i should say onto the floor plan uh in the position where it belongs and it's as simple as that once you've uh, put all your doors on the floor plan in question you simply save that floor plan and you're ready to go so let's show you how this is all done oh by the way uh, the AT, it's with the A22K, so you do have kits. So the crypto uh, system, so here are your three kits available to, well, two kits along with the K1 readers, uh, if you need additional readers. And uh, this is what the um, floor plans is compatible with. All right, so showing you how to get this done without taking too much of your precious time. Uh, just minimize this here. I'm gonna log into my system. So through the web interface, as I mentioned. Okay, so um, to load the license, the license card, um, you'll be going through the configuration menu to do that in the web interface. Uh, something that's new in the, um, the crypto interface, if I go to configuration, and click on configuration. This is where I'll find my floor plans. But as you see right now, I do not see the term floor plan. So to be able to uh, interact or get the floor plan, I need to go to my installer user once I've logged in, and it's only the installer that can do this, and switch to expert mode. Once I'm in expert mode as the installer, when I log in as admin admin, I'm in the installer, I switch to expert mode, then when I come back to configuration, I will then be able to load the license in the system. So log in as administrator, admin admin, that's your the user, uh, the installer user. Uh, go to the user installer, this is new. Switch to export mode. By default, you're in standard mode. So you want to switch to export mode to be able to load the license. Then when you come to your configuration, you'll have your license uh, menu item available to you. So from there, we click on the plus sign. So in the license menu, we're gonna add a license. If I can click on that, let me get this bar out of the way. There we go. Click the plus sign. And I'll load the license from the card. Now here is seeing the readers, my K1 readers on my system. You pick the closest reader typically, and you highlight it and click select. Once you do that, the reader itself that you've chosen will start blinking twice red, twice green, and you'll have 30 seconds to swipe your license card at that reader to load the card in the system. So I'm doing that right now. Once the reader has read the card, it reads it successfully, the LED on the reader will turn green. Now, as we see here, uh, it's read the card and it's to apply the changes to load the license. The controller needs to be rebooted. So I guess we need to do that. And that takes about a minute, I guess. Uh, just while we're waiting here, kill a bit of time here. Um, I want to mention uh, for the kits, we see the A22K1DS kit here, the DS for door strikes. So this is a new kit that's available. Uh, it's the crypto uh, platform and you'll get two door strikes included. Um, CDVI has purchased the, the Rofu, uh, manufacturer of Rofu lock devices. And uh, we are now, um, Rofu has become part of the CDVI group and this is our first uh, product offering in there. Uh, it's the 20 model for 2400 door strikes that are in, uh, included in this here, uh, this kit. And that particular model typically will uh, be able to accommodate 75 to 80% of all the uh, doors that are out there in the building that you need to secure. Uh, so this is a, uh, a very common uh, door strike and very popular door strike. So the A22 kit, uh, A22K1 door strike kit gives you two extra door strikes in there. So let's so go back to the license once again. Uh, that controller, my system should have rebooted by now. So let's log in and show you how to um, import the floor plan, activate a floor plan. So 
Now I'm still as a standard user. So I've just logged in admin admin. So I'm the installer user. I'm in standard mode. I can go to the configuration menu. And now we see the floor plan. Instead of license, we see floor plan because it's been activated on the system. I will add a floor plan. And this is my work, uh, work desk, if you will. Uh, so to be able to import a floor plan into the system, you'll simply go to upload the plan. Browse to your folder where you have the file itself in question. I've got one here, it's a JPEG file, and this one is 62 kilobytes. And we have up to one megabyte available to you. So uh, the, uh, if you're concerned at all about having a, so only one megabyte file, uh, typically this should not be an issue with 99.99% of all the um, floor plans that you need to import. Okay, so I've imported the floor plan and um, on the left-hand side of the screen here, you see my floor plan. And off to the right-hand side of the screen, you see the list of doors that I have my, in my system. And I'll be working with that in just a moment. I think uh, the display name might be uh, main floor, for example. Uh, give it a name. You can leave it default if you prefer. Uh, and then we have our doors, as I was saying here. And a matter of simply clicking on the door that you want in question and dragging it onto your system. Okay. Once you've added the doors onto your system, you simply click Save. Creating your floor plan is no more difficult than giving it a name, uploading the floor plan itself. We saw how that is and how easy that is. Once the floor plan has been uploaded into the system, simply click and drag your door icons onto that floor plan. So now my floor plan has been created. I can then go to the menu of the floor plans and to be able to visualize the floor plan in real time, uh, we'll click on the, um, the eyeball icon here to uh, interact with the floor plan. Our floor plan over here off to the left, Let's refresh the page. And over to the right of the screen, we see the events associated to the doors on this. In, in this case, we're seeing the access events as a filter. So while you're watching the status of your doors, you can also see the events scrolling through the, uh, through the system. And you have different filters available to you. Okay. To interact with the floor plan, to be able to unlock a door, you simply, as you see, my mouse becomes a pointer. Left click on it, and you have these different options available to you. Granting access, buzz someone in, allow that person to open the door. Let me try that again, and this one here. All right, so different. Uh, available access to uh, commands that are available to you, granting access, buzz someone in, disable access, the reader stops working. So in the crisis that we're going through today, this might be an option that we like to use. Uh, unlock and lock, and you'll notice these are both uh, override commands. So for example, if I have a door that's locked and I want to unlock that door, I simply come in here and say unlock. The door will remain unlocked infinitely uh, indeterminate. So there is no um, timer in this uh, to go back to its normal status. Once you want to uh, return to the daily activity, if you will, let's go back to normal state. Okay, so if I do unlock and override, you'll notice that the padlock is, is open, it's unlocked, and the uh, padlock itself is flashing. This is a visual indicator that the um, door has been unlocked permanently by an operator. Okay, now, to go back to my normal day-to-day -day activity, I just go back to normal state. Okay, click here. If I grant access, 
it'll unlock the door, but it will not start blinking. So the blinking padlock is an indicator that you are using the override commands in the system. To go back to your, to return to normal, simply go to normal state. Grant access, buzz someone in. Disable access to deactivate the reader. Now to finish off here, if we prefer, I just mentioned the disable access might be useful. Uh, it would have to be door by door and I have to go to floor plan. Now all the doors on this particular floor plan, I can give a, a broadcast a command to all the doors on this particular floor plan through the all doors button here. Okay. Back to normal state. Uh, when you have lockdown implemented, we've also added a lockdown icon to be able to uh, both start and end lockdown. And this all pertains or uh, revolves around the operator that's logged in. Uh, are they able to initiate and uh, stop lockdown uh, crisis scenarios? If so, um, there are different features. We do have a lockdown uh, webinar that's been recorded, and you'll be able to see that very shortly on our website. So uh, you can, through the floor plan manager, activate your lockdown situation. You'll notice your status of your icons change. We are now in lockdown. Uh, and if we click on here, you'll notice that the um, commands are different. So for my first responders, my doors have been locked. The readers are disabled and all that uh, lockdown conviviality, if you will. Uh, now, as an operator, I want to be able to allow the first responders to uh, access a school uh, classroom, for example, I can simply grant access during the lockdown process. There are also lockdown cards that are available and so on and so forth. So the lockdown is available straight from the menu. Now, do I want to stop it and so on and so forth? Okay. And you'll notice that the, the, header, the, the, the header bar at the top turns from, when we're in lockdown, it turns red, when we're in normal status, it goes back to its normal black uh, situation. So that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today uh, covers the um, straight to the point, the flash webinar, how to uh, activate um, floor plans in your new crypto, Ethereum crypto system. All right then, thank you. Uh, so that's gonna be it for today. So thanks so much, everybody. Uh, have a great day and please stay safe and uh, hopefully we'll see you again here tomorrow. Thanks much, bye-bye.